7.1. 7.1. On Friday, the 5th of July, 2019, the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, reported an earthquake of magnitude 7.1 in Southern California. The USGS has about 2,000 sensors used to monitor earthquake in the U.S. alone. You see, these sensors are connected to a network, and they transmit traffic in form of sensor data in real time. So imagine a scenario where there is traffic congestion on a network, and these readings do not get to the USGS on time, and they are unable to give timely warnings of the earthquake. Imagine the devastation to human life. And no, <laughs> before you ask me, let me tell you now, my research it's not about earthquake at all. The primary aim of my research is focused on developing artificial intelligence algorithms to control high-speed networks in high-speed network towards controlling tra airport traffic congestion. Today, we live in an interconnected world which is heavily dependent on the internet, which means network traffic will continue to grow exponentially day by day. Picture this. Imagine waking up in the morning and you cannot connect to the internet with your cell phone or tablet or even PC. Why? Because the network is congested or down. O-M-G. <laughs> now here's the catch. Now here's the catch. What if I tell you that there's a lot of research that has been done in the area of network traffic congestion management? But there is a problem. Most of them have looked at the issue from a reactive point of view. Basically, they've tried to address the traffic congestion after the traffic congestion has occurred. This is clearly not going to be easy, and that's why I come in. So my team and I have utilized the concept of basic statistics to analyze and explore this massive amount of network data, plus the power of advanced computer simulation and artificial intelligence to predict real-time network behavior and the next level of traffic congestion. In simple terms, we have, used, we have used historic traffic timestamp data to predict future neural pattern. This, we believe, will provide network engineers with prior information of the network behavior, which will help them to be able to avoid data traffic congestion, network downtime, and above all, save DOE millions of dollars on equipment costs. And if this is successful, it will indeed answer what is arguably one of the most challenging open research questions in Energy Science Network. Thank you.